Hello, welcome to my page. As you can see, I'm currently on the phone because I'm gonna give you guys a step-by-step -step routine on how to create a flyer for your Instagram page or for your Facebook page. I normally don't use Facebook. I don't use Facebook at all, but if you can use it for Facebook, then that's great. We're gonna use the Canvas app and we're gonna use um, different apps. So I'm gonna show you guys all the apps that I use and what I do in order to create my own flyer for me. I already made this flyer, first of all. However, I'm just gonna show you how I did it step by step because I recently did it so I'm more aware and I kind of remember how I did it. So let's get it started. Now, as you can see my phone here, I like to organize everything into like a specific quote unquote file so I can remember everything and you know, a girl has anxiety so I have to, I have to be organized. So I'm going to go into the Canvas app. If I can't, can I even remember? Oh, I'm on the Canva app. I do recommend the Canva app, especially if you have a business and you wanna make your own logos or posters, I suggest you use the Canva app. It's so helpful. Okay, so I'm gonna to go to this purple button. I'm just going to make an Instagram post. They have recently used or templates or if you just want to like do it plain. I'm just going to do a plain one. I'm not going to do a template. And I'm just I'm going to use a color background. In order for me to like pick a color, I would need to know like the colors that's going to be in my background. So, before I even get really involved in the color i just leave it blank and i'm just going to add a picture so the picture can give me a good color scheme that i can utilize for this flyer if that doesn't make sense just follow along so i'm gonna go on the camera roll and then i'm gonna go on the flyers section i'm gonna click on the patreon logo right here this one is transparent but i will show you guys how to make transparent pictures in a few i'm just gonna put this right here you can see patreon oh ah, looks so nice now if i wanted to change the color of the background i can always go back to the color section on the bottom and they customize these photo colors coming from the actual picture that I upload in the background. So I can use any of these colors. I choose this color because it just makes the logo and everything stand out more. If I put it in this color, you can't really see the logo. If I put it here, you can see the logo, but you can't see the actual name. Same thing with this. This one, I could utilize that, but eh, not a big fan. I'm more of a brown girl. This looks more my speed so this is going to be my background for now but i want to add myself because i am the brand so i'm going to upload a picture of me a transparent picture of me so now we're going to go into another app and i'm going to show you guys how to make a picture transparent so you can put it on a flyer for canvas and I'm going to go on the Bazaar app. I also have the Bazaar Pro, so I have easier access to a lot of things. But even if you don't have the Pro, I'm pretty sure you can still utilize some of the things that they have for free. I'm going to press this pink button right here. And I'm going to start with the photo. Now I'm going to go to my albums and I'm going to go to the flyer section. And as you can see, these pictures on the top row is pictures that I've already made transparent, but I'm going to show you guys right now exactly how I did that. Now I'm going to pick one of these three pictures. I'm going to pick this one. I'm just going to make a regular flyer. I'm going to press magic. And that is going to make the picture not only transparent, 
but it's also just going to cut it out for you. Just cut yourself out. It aligns well. I don't have to do it myself, which is I'm really sloppy about it. So it's very helpful for me. And this is how it looks. So I'm going to save it. Okay, we got all of that out of the way. I'm going to upload this picture right here in my flyer section. There you go. So I'm just going to play with it a little bit to see how I want it to fit. Okay, I think this fits and voila this is just a simple basic fly that you can use for your Instagram post or your Facebook post or even your Twitter post this is just something that's cute and simple and still clean that you can promote to your audience now you can switch this one around and you could put other words, but I'm just showing y'all this as an example of how you could just make it a simple flyer. Now I'm gonna show you another way to, you know, make a flyer on canvas for your Instagram post to actually, you know, you know, try to draw your audience or just try to add a little bit extra if you're extra like myself. Okay, guys, this segment, I'm going to show you how to just make a different flyer if you want to add any bullets or add any extra things to help promote your page or promote whatever it is that you're promoting. So I'm going to upload another transparent picture that I created. And I'm just going to play around with this one. That looks so cute. I'll tell you one thing. This is a hottie. Okay. I probably didn't think about that before. But baby, you can't tell me nothing now. Okay, now I'm done with that. I'm going to go back to this plus sign on the left. And I'm going to go to text. I'm going to just click on the second one that says add a subheading. Nah. I think I should do this one okay and then i could just freak it if i need to now i'm going to put since it's my patreon account i'm just gonna write things like you um tutorials oh i can't spell y'all oh god right i'm gonna write that I am going to change the size because, like, girl. And I'm going to change the color. I'm going to use blue because this one's cute. And I'm going to... Let's see. Let's see the font. I wanted something that's similar to this Patreon font, but I don't really know what the name of that font is. Maybe. It, uh. Let me use this one because I like this one. Let's see, format. I'm going to do a bulletin. So if that, I think I'm going to change my font if I'm going to do a bulletin like that. Yeah. Tutorials for iPhone. I'm going to add another text. Oh, wrong one. <laughs> I'm going to add another one and put DI y at home and then i'm gonna bangers 
I don't know that the I don't remember the size. Let's remember the size for that one. 46, okay. Forty six, and then I'm gonna give it a bullet. So we have the Patreon tutorials for iPhone do it yourself at home. Um, I'm going to write some more, and then I'm gonna give you guys, you know, a taste of what. It actually looks like after okay guys I'm back and this is the final version of the second flyer that I created for you guys on canvas as you can see here I just added some bullets to just you know tell the people what they're going to be able to see on my patreon page you know little things like that these are very helpful for your brand, for your business, and it's free. So the free, the better. But, you know, sometimes you're going to have to utilize things and sometimes you're going to have to pay for it. But I do recommend Canva Pro. It is definitely worth your money. I also um, like the Bazart app. Oh, not this one, but... The Bazaar app, it definitely helped me a lot, especially if I want to make something transparent or if I want to cut something out, they just do it for me. But yeah, that is all for you guys. And thank you for watching. Make sure you stick around. Thank you guys for watching my page. Hopefully this helps you out. If you are struggling with the trying to make content for your page, I know making content for your page can be an ultimate struggle but i hope this one helps you out thank you guys have a good one